Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kasaya, this is Saya Swag. And today I made a video on the Swell Crossbody add-on that just came out from Needle and Anchor. And it is adorable, look at that. She added on this double slip pocket, double zipper pocket on the front of the bag. And I just think it's so awesome. Such a good addition to a great pattern. Um, I have already done a video on the small swell, the little mini one. And so this is the bigger version. I do the oval bottom again. The pattern comes with lots of different um, options and ways to do it. Um, one of them is a boxed bottom. So if you're like, oh, I don't want to do an oval bottom, that's fine. Do the boxed version. Um, there's so many different little add-ons you could do on this bag. I think I've seen somebody put a zipper pocket right up here on the back, which I thought was awesome. I've seen slip pocket on the inside, which I almost added to this, but then I didn't. So I did do a zipper pocket on the inside, a nice big one. And that's what I pulled the bag through. If you don't have a big zipper pocket on this, you will have to do a drop in lining. So keep that in mind when you're making it. So I did this zipper pocket on the inside. It's a nice roomy bag. I really like how, I like the oval bottom too. I really like the shape it gives it. I feel like it's a great design. You got this zipper up here, totally encloses the top of your bag. I did a little zipper end cap. You can just do, you know, a vinyl, leather, fabric, zipper tab, whatever you want to do. I love these side accents and the way the crossbody is put, put on this style of bag in this pattern. You can do a different kind. You could just do a connector here if you wanted to. You could do hidden connectors. I, she has um, a tutorial on that on her channel. I can link that below. So lots of variations of this bag. I love it. So again, Swell Crossbody add-on, and I used cotton canvas, interface with woven fuse too, vinyl, and waterproof canvas on the inside. Used Peltex Heavy on the bottom, and I think that's it. All the hardware on this is from my website. How awesome is that? All of this hardware, even the zipper, even these cute zipper pulls. I love these zipper pulls. Okay. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and let's get to making this cute bag. Okay, let's go over the pieces that we need for the Swell crossbody add-on. It has the two zipper pockets in the front. So she has lots of different choices for you on this add-on, and I will show you what I am going to do. Um, I'm doing a combo of waterproof canvas, cotton, and vinyl for it. I am piecing my front and back panel together. I'm doing this cotton on the bottom and a vinyl on the top. So I will sew those together to make one panel like that. So that will be my front panel. All I did was put Woven Fuse 2 on the back of these pieces. Um, I don't think this bag needs a ton of structure because once I put it all together with my waterproof canvas and the vinyl and this, I think it'll hold pretty well. Um, anyway, so you should, if you're doing two pieces, you should have two bottom pieces and two top pieces, or you can have one full front and back piece. The reason why she suggests doing it separately like this is to keep the thickness out of your seams where you're going to be putting on the zipper pockets. It's to lighten it up a little bit. So if you're sewing on a domestic, for sure, you might want to use cotton or a light canvas for this bottom or the whole piece. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so this will be my front zipper pocket piece for the front of my bag that I'm putting my pockets in. And these are my pocket pieces for the front. You should have four total pieces for the main parts 
two small little pieces for the main zipper part. So I'll go with that smaller piece of the pocket. You'll see how that's done while I'm, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six pocket pieces for that front zipper pocket. And then you also have a zipper facing. I've already marked where my zipper is going to go from the pattern piece on this zipper facing. It's going to be two of them and then I'm going to cut it in half. All right. And then I have the bottom of my bag. I fused Decaville Heavy on the bottom. I've marked out where I'm sewing that cute little design that she has in the pattern. And then I'm also going to put four purse feet on that. And I will show you that. Um, this is for the top part of my lining inside the back where the zipper is. Two of those. Um, any more outside pieces? I've got my crossbody strap. And then I have my two connector pieces for the sides. Okay, you should have two of those where your O-rings go. And my inside lining pieces, my bottom, and I am doing a zipper pocket on the inside of my lining. So I have the way she does her zipper pockets. This will be one side of the zipper pocket. This is the other side of the zipper pocket and this is your facing, okay? And I'll show you how she does that. And all of my cotton canvas pieces are just interfaced with woven fuse too. Uh, the things that you need for this bag, you need zipper tape, you need four zipper pulls, you need purse feet, crossbody strap hardware, and O-rings if you're doing O-rings. You could do D-rings, you could do gate rings, uh, lots of different types of hardware. You could do hidden, hand, hidden handle connectors. You don't have to do the O-ring part like I'm doing, but I really like how that looks, so that's how I'm going to do it. And that is all you need to make this bag, so let's get going. Okay, to start, I'm going to do some prep work that we need to do for this bag. I'm going to prep the top zipper already. So I have my zipper and I measured down evenly and put a mark across the top. I measured three fourths down. And we're going to want to turn those at a 90 degree angle. I've shown this a quite a few times on many, many videos. So you pinch where that line is and you bring it down to turn your zipper. Okay, and that's what you want. And then you wanna put a little pin right there. And we are just gonna tack that down so it stays at that turn. You can also um, hand sew it if you don't feel like you are um, in control enough to do it on your machine. That would work too. I always put a couple stitches in before I take my pin out. And then I do the rest. That is just what works for me, but do what works for you. And then that's what it looks like. And then we want to trim this little extra piece there. Okay, so it's flush with the zipper and then I am going to melt that right there. Okay, so that's what it looks like when you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other side as well. Okay, so that should come up evenly, all right? And then you can either put um, a folded zipper end, how she has it on there, or I'm going to do an actual um, zipper end cap at the end on the end of my zipper. So I'm just gonna leave it just like that. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm going to sew the bottom base of my bag. So I have some marks. Um, that were on the pattern piece and I traced those on here. I'm going to use this as my sew line and I'm going to make this cool little design in the bottom of my bag and then I'm going to add four purse feet.
And then I am also going to sew around this at a half inch seam allowance, just to make sure um, my base piece stays in place and it kind of just gives it a nice finished look as well. Actually, I'm gonna go in, should I do a three fourths? I'm going to do it at three fourths. I'm gonna take just a little damp rag to mine and wash off all my markings here. Um, and then I'm going to install my four purse feet and then we'll head to the crossbody strap. All right, I'm just doing a crossbody strap. I'm not doing um, a double-sided one uh, like she has, you can do in the pattern. I'm just doing all vinyl on mine. So nothing fancy about it. Just folded my raw edges into my center left a tiny bit of a gap right there. So when you fold it, it folds nicely. And then I'm just gonna stitch down both sides. And then we're just gonna take our hardware. Stick it through just like that. I'm gonna sew that. And I will most likely put a rivet in it as well. Take this and go up and over. Just like that. And then I'm going to sew my swivel clip on. Make sure it's all facing the right way. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna sew this on and then I will put rivets on these, both of these areas where I did the sew line as well. Okay, just like that. And there's my crossbody strap. All right, let's head on to the next thing. Okay, I'm just going to um, put together my front panels. Again, I'm doing them in two pieces to try and reduce the bulk along the seam where the zipper is. So I'm just going to put on these top vinyl pieces, just like that. And Oh, 3 8 seam allowance, I think, in almost all of this. Let me double check. Yep, 3 8 seam allowance. I'll go ahead and sew that on.
Okay, so once you have it sewn on like that, you're gonna press the seam allowance down towards the bottom piece and top stitch that. Okay, repeat for the other side. All right, so I'm Next, we're gonna work on our front slip pocket slash zipper pocket, or double zipper pocket, which is the add-on part. Um, I am doing an oval bottom, so there's different um, placement, whether you're doing an oval bottom or a boxed bottom. So I am doing the oval bottom. So go ahead and mark a line where the instructions tell you to do that for your zipper facing placement. Okay, so that's my line. And you want to put the bottom of your zipper facing along that line and center that up right there. And I'm just going to put a couple of clips along the side so it stays. All right, I have already marked out where my zippers are going to be. It should be even lines. Um, she does not do the sides on her zipper pocket. She just does the top and bottom line. And then you still cut it like you normally do. And it just helps it lay. It's another way to do it. There's, I don't think there's any right or wrong way. So I am going to do it the way that she has in her pattern. So I'm just doing the sewing the parallel lines. Okay, we're going to go ahead and and try and get those as even as possible top and bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and cruise over to the next side here. And then I'm going to come to the bottom part here. Okay, so those are my front zipper pockets all sewn up there. Just cutting my threads. All right, and then I'm going to, I'm gonna split this zipper facing in half. Right there. So now I have two different zipper pockets and now I'm going to cut these open. So you still do the whole um, Y shape cut right here. Okay. And down. Here goes my ruler. All right, so I still did my Y-shaped cut. 
Okay, do that on both sides. All right, so after you have that cut out, you wanna take it to an iron. Make sure it's all cut out there. We're going to turn it through to the other side. And I'm gonna give it a slight press. I'm gonna use a protective sheet when I do the press on my canvas. But I'm gonna press that to the other side and we'll continue. Okay, so I pressed my zipper pockets back just like that. Actually, it's like that. All right, and now I'm gonna work on my actual pocket pieces here. And the instructions for this are in the original pattern on how she does her pockets. So for one side, we're going to have, it's gonna look like this, okay? All right, so we're going to wanna take this right side up on here, and we're gonna baste that eight inch seam allowance on there. So they're both right side up. Okay, just like that. I wonder if this is opening the right way. Yes, it is. Okay, and then you wanna open that and lay it flat and we're gonna to top stitch it down right there. That's what you should have. Top stitch that. It's a really small seam allowance right there. And my zipper is laying flat on the other side. And I'll show you what I mean. So it's laying flat down like that. That's what one side looks like. And you're gonna get your other piece and we're gonna do the same thing. So right sides together, or no, right sides up, both facing up and baste that. And then do the same thing. Press that up like this and lay the zipper flat on this side. Okay, and we're gonna top stitch that on the right side of this zipper pocket lining. Okay, so that's what I have. This is the right side of my zipper. This is the wrong side of the zipper pocket and vice versa, okay? So you wanna do that again for the other piece that you have here. Repeat. All right, so those are my two front zipper pocket pieces, okay? That's the inside of the zipper, and that's the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my inside pocket piece while I'm at it and do the same thing, because it's the same process if you're putting um, a zipper on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now for my inside lining zipper pocket. Kind of skipping here.
Okay, that's my inside zipper pocket piece. I just went ahead and did along with these two. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this into our front double zip piece. So all we're gonna do, and I want my zippers, which way do I want them going? Usually you want them either going from here, here, or outside in. And I think I want mine outside in. So I'm gonna have to put this on this way. So remember to think about that when you're installing all this. Okay, so mine are gonna go from outside in. So we want to put our pieces in there like that, right? Just like that and sew around our zippers, okay? I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on mine and I'll just do one at a time. This one first. And we will be cutting this out of our seam allowance. We'll be sewing it pretty close and cutting it out of the seam allowance so we don't have the bulkiness of the zipper in there. All right, so just like that. And then I'm gonna take it, come on, and do the top. Just like that. Okay, and I am going to sew around that. All right, so there is my first one, front, back. Go ahead and repeat for your next pocket. One thing um, I will say about this as you are making it, be sure that you are sewing on the pockets the right way. I could see how high I would get easily confused and somehow flip it so it's going this way and so my pockets down this way so just make sure as you're going that you're paying attention to which way your piece is laying I hope that makes sense okay so go ahead and repeat for the second pocket
All right, so that is our front zipper pocket so far. What I'm gonna do next is add our backings to it. So I'm just gonna take my piece here. I'm gonna clip it on top. I am gonna have to trim some and that's okay, that's fine. I want to make sure, I think I'm going to line it up. I'm going to line it up with the bottom of it. And I'm just going to do it one at a time. You want to sew it pretty far in on the edges here so it stays out of your seam allowances, okay? All right, and then you just want to sew that on. You could keep going, I don't know why I stopped. Just keep going all the way around. So I've got one pocket sewn on and you are going to want to trim that up. And definitely this part because you want to try and keep this out of your seam allowance. You don't really want that bulkiness of that zipper there in your seam allowance. And then I'm going to trim this down. Okay, so there's one. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty good. We could even sew that a little bit closer because when we fold this over, we're not gonna want this part in that fold for our zipper pocket. So I'm just going to sew that a little bit closer and trim that up. There we go. Because when we fold it to do our slip pocket in half, I don't want that piece stuck um, in my way for that. Okay. So go ahead and repeat for this side. All right, so there is what it looks like from the back. Here is what it looks like from the front. Next, we are going to fold this pocket in half because then it's gonna enclose those zipper pockets and make it a slip pocket as well. All right, so fold that in half. And I'm just gonna clip it at the bottom here. And then we are going to top stitch that fold. Okay, after you have that top stitched, you wanna add it to your exterior panel. So just get your panel here, and we're just gonna line it all up, and we're going to stitch around the three sides, but we're also going to divide 
the middle so it's two slip pockets. So we will find the center and we will mark it and sew it along like that. Okay, so there's my line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew down this side, come across, I'm gonna sew up and back down and then do the rest of it. Okay, so there is my front panel with the two slip pockets there and my two zipper pockets here. Pretty cute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put my, my name plate right here and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, before I go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and install my zipper pocket on my lining piece that I wanna do. I just kind of guesstimated how far down I wanted it. And then I have my um, zipper facing here and I'm going to install this the same exact way that we did our front um, zipper facings and zipper pocket. Same process. Okay, I'm gonna turn that through and give it a press and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this press back and now I'm just going to add it to my zipper just like I did with the front pockets. Okay, so I am leaving my inside zipper pocket open 
on the bottom. I'm not sewing it up because that's how I'm gonna pull the bag through when we're all done. So there's my zipper. I'm gonna put that aside. And we are gonna put together the two main pieces and attach the connectors. Okay, so here's my front and my back. Okay, I'm gonna go right sides together and I'm gonna sew those together at a three eighths seam allowance. Okay, here we go. So you want to press that. Now I've got a thick seam here from everything meeting up, okay? So I think I'm just going to have it go over. All right, so I want to put my connectors on one at a time. And they're gonna go on like this. I'm going to work on this top one first. I just have my raw edges folded in, just like that. It's gonna go right here. We wanna measure, we wanna center that. Make sure it's centered. And I'm gonna put some double-sided tape on it so it stays in place down here on the bottom. And one little piece on the top here. You don't want to do any in this middle section because that's where your connector is going to go. So I'm just going to go right here first and do this top piece. I want to do 5 8 of an inch down or more, if you want it a little bit, if you're worried about being able to top stitch around it, you can go a little bit farther down. Let's see, this is five eighths. Uh, should I go a little bit more? I think I'm gonna go a little bit more down with my O-ring just so I have room. I think I'm gonna do seven eighths. So not much but enough that I'll be able to top stitch. Actually, maybe I'll do an inch. What's an inch look like? I'm gonna do an inch down because my um, O-rings are kind of chunky. Okay, I'm just gonna sew that on real quick. Just this top part. And then I'm gonna come across here. Oh my gosh. And back up. So I just did this top part. I am gonna slide my O-ring in there. And you wanna have a little bit of a, a gap right there. Do you see how it comes up just a little bit? And then I'm gonna tape the rest of this down and I'm going to stitch it on.
Okay. You might have a little bit extra down here at the bottom and that's just fine. Just trim that off. And that's what it should look like. That's going to be your connector. Okay. I'm going to do the next side's a little bit more tricky because you have to sew them together and you don't have that extra space there that it is totally doable. Okay, so I have both my connectors sewn on my bag. One right there, one right, eh, one right there. All right, let's move on. Okay, we're gonna install the zipper to the lining. So there's markings on your pattern pieces on how far in and where your zipper placement is. On this first one, you're gonna stick the front part of your zipper. I've got it right side up. My lining is right side up. And we're gonna baste this down. We're gonna start at that mark and we're going to taper off at that mark as well. Okay, so I've got my mark right here. And that's going to be my taper off point. All right, so go ahead and baste that on an eighth of an inch. And then pull it down when it gets to that mark so I know where to take it off, okay? Right there. I am gonna clip that down a little bit out of the way. All right, and then we wanna put our top lining piece, which is actually my vinyl. Okay, you're gonna put that on top, right side down. 
And I'm gonna clip that on and we're gonna sew that on with a fourth inch, a one fourth inch seam allowance. See how that's not in that all the way because I came off at that point. Okay, you're gonna wanna tape it or tape it. You're gonna wanna flip this top piece up and we are gonna top stitch along this top. My seam allowance is going up. You want to go ahead and do the same thing with your other side. All right, and I do have my markings already there. So I'm going to take my zipper. I kind of unzipped it there. Be sure if you don't have a zipper tab or stop that you don't take your zipper off completely when you do that. Okay, and I'm gonna baste this on first. Ah, my zipper moved. Make sure your zipper doesn't move. <laughs> it's okay, guys. It's fine. Quick fix. See? It's fine. We're just basting, so it's okay. All right, and then put your top lining piece on again. And then top stitch. Here's my zipper, I attached my lining pieces, zip it up, make sure it looks good. I like it, it looks good. Next step. Okay, we're gonna sew our two lining pieces together. So I have them clipped, making sure they're clipped at this lining part. And you're gonna start at that 3 8 inch seam allowance and you are going to increase 
to a 5 eighths just to make sure you have kind of a good snug lining, okay? So I'm gonna increase. Just like that. And then do the other side, same way. All right. I'm just gonna trim that down a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna attach the bases to our bag. The zippered pocket version doesn't have the pleats in the bottom and the base is a, a little bit bigger because of that. So just be aware of that if you're doing the oval base. And first I'm gonna match up, I've clipped all my centers and I'm going to match up all my centers first. And then we'll just do all of our clips from there. She does um, recommend basting an eighth of an inch stitch all the way around first with your base and then doing your 3 8 inch seam allowance. Um, it just kind of helps you give a good, nice bottom. So I am gonna do that, I'll do what she says. If you need to do some clips to get it to fit in, go ahead and do that. Like uh, scissors with clipping your curves. I don't think I'm going to need to do that. I think it's gonna go in pretty nicely. Clips are your friend on this, so don't be afraid to use lots of clips.
Okay, there's what it looks like all clipped on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sew that first at an 1 8 inch seam allowance, and then I'm gonna do my 3 8 inch seam allowance. Okay, now that I have it all on there at an eighth of an inch, I'm going to take it and I'm going to do my three eighths inch. I'm just going to trim that down a little bit. Not by much. And then I will do my lining.
same exact thing on your lining. Okay, so we're going to finish up this bag. So I am just going to do my right sides together. Okay, so my right sides are together. And I'm going to clip along the whole top. Make sure your zipper is tucked in out of the way. Make sure your hardware is tucked in out of the way. And go ahead and just start clipping all the way around. And then we'll sew this up.
Okay, now we want to turn it. Okay. All right, let's go on. Okay, all we have left to do is top stitch our bag. So I've just kind of clipped it, rolled my seam, make sure it looks good. I'm gonna top stitch our bag and then I'm gonna close up the pocket and put on my zipper stop and we're done. I actually want to start sewing from the back. Okay, you're gonna have this major bump right here where your connector is. So use something to put behind your foot to get over that. And then make sure to protect your walking foot from not chewing up your vinyl coming down off of that right there. Okay, got that all top stitched. I'm gonna pull my pocket out here. And this is our last step. I'm going to clip this all under and sew it up. Okay, I have my pocket just all folded under and clipped. And I'm gonna sew that up right here. Thank you. 
Okay. I'm gonna put that back in. And all I have to do is the zipper stop. I'm just gonna put a little um, zipper cap on the end of my zipper there and we're all done. All right guys, we're all done. This is our finished product. I love it. It is such a cute crossbody. I like it a lot. Um, I did add just a little zipper end cap there. I added a couple rivets right here to support these slip pockets. And that's it. That's all I did. I think it turned out really good. Um, let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I'll try and answer them. Here's our inside. I like it. Um, I think if I were to make it again, I would do the same materials. I don't think I would change any of the materials I used. I liked the combination. Um, you definitely want to keep this side seam here um, not too heavy for when you add these connectors. So, you know, think about if you want to maybe cut your interfacing out of your seam allowance. That might help with that issue. But I think this is a winner. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that... You guys will all make such pretty bags with this video. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.